Hi. A couple of months ago, we began a series of videos on rocket engines. I started out with the formulation and fabrication of a sugar-based solid rocket fuel. We went ahead and tested those engines outside, and we then followed with a video on building your own ignition system, as well as how to augment uh, commercial ignition systems for larger rocket engines. We're going to proceed with even more advanced fuels. For example, the next video is going to be on the HTPB, or rubber-based, ammonium perchlorate fuel, which is basically the same formula that's used in the solid rocket boosters for the space shuttle. Much hotter, much more powerful. But it involves different fabrication techniques, such as pouring a grain, and trimming, and jigging for drilling, and eventually the release of very neat, compact fuel grains that can then be inserted into rocket motor casings of arbitrary size. Now I'm not quite ready to present that full video and go into the details, but in the process of setting up for this video, I had to build a lot more of the large igniters, and I thought it might be kind of interesting to do a short video where we take these igniters back outside and refilm some of their ignition with the new high-speed camera we have, dig a little bit deeper into the ignition process. In addition, I want to take advantage of an opportunity to correct a misunderstanding. When we blasted those huge blowtorches of flame into the sky, a lot of people thought that what we were doing is actually testing rocket engines, and we weren't, as we won't be doing that today. What we were doing is in cardboard tubes, we were igniting fuel grains, test fuel formulas to see how they would burn. So you can imagine if you added a nozzle to one of these and made them, fabricated them as actual engines, how powerful those things would really be. Finally, what I want to do is an experiment that I haven't even tried yet, so you're going to learn along with me as to whether or not it works. But we're going to take our 40,000 volt pulsed power supply and actually send that power into some of these fuel grains and see whether or not we can ignite fuel without necessarily needing to use a bridge wire igniter. So that should be kind of exciting. So we're going to go ahead, go outside, set up the cameras, and fire off some of these and see what happens. Come on. So this is one of our small augmented igniters with the standard flash powder. Okay, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, Go. This is one of our augmented starters with the barium sulfate mixture. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, these are so cute. They're, they're different. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this is going to be one of our larger augmented starters with the standard aluminum flash powder. Okay, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go.
Okay, this is the larger augmented starter with the barium sulfate mixture. Okay, three, two, one, go. Jesus. <laughs> Pack that a little tight. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Three, two, one, go. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, this is one of the augmented starters with the uh, barium sulfate mixture. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, this is one of our test grains with the iron oxide catalyzed HTPB composite rocket fuel. All right, three, two, one, go. So this is one of our test grains of the non-iron oxide catalyzed HTPB composite rocket fuel. All right, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. So, that was pretty cool. As soon as we get the video on the advanced fuel finished, we'll go ahead and post that. And if you find the topic interesting, you might want to take a look at some of the other videos that we've posted on rocket engines. The channel covers a broad range of scientific topics, and you might also find some of the other videos that we put up interesting as well. 
If you have a suggestion or a question, please post it in the comments below because I read all of them and I try to answer as many questions as possible and it also gives us ideas for other videos that we might want to pursue. So I'll leave you with a warning to stay safe, have fun, and you have a great evening. Good night.